Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here and it's Wednesday the 26th of October. I uh, just want to take you through the developing weather pattern of the next few days and just give you some pointers as to where I'm looking at things going and how things will develop I think as we get through the end of October into the early part of November. This is the precipitation forecast for the next 10 days. It's valid from today through till next Wednesday here on this top field. You can see how again most of the rainfall is affecting western parts of the country here. Prediction of up to 100 millimetres of rain for western Scotland, northwest England and perhaps parts of southwest England too as well as western parts of Ireland. Less so further east, here typically around 20 to 30 millimetres of rain. It may have overdone that a little bit, but it gives you the idea that much of the country is going to be experiencing rainfall. Look, it's over the east of Europe where things are much, much drier. For the following week, so from Thursday, so we're from Thursday the 3rd of November through to Friday the 11th, um, pretty unsettled still across the whole of Western Europe, look, and uh, some higher totals across northwest Scotland, more typically though for many of us around about the 20 to 40 millimetre mark. Eastern Europe again staying very, very dry. And the anomalies for the next week from Wednesday to Wednesday showing totals near normal for much of the British Isles, above normal about 150% down western coast of Scotland and western Ireland, below normal on these eastern coasts. But look at that massive dry area there across Eastern Europe. So just focus on that dry area and uh, have a think about why that's there. This is the uh, 7 to 10 day mean 500 millibar height chart. And uh, these measure the jet Screen basically uh, and whether um, the heights that we see at 500 millibars about 18,000 feet are above or below normal and this is from the ECMWF this is from the GFS model and they're valid from uh, next Thursday through till Saturday the 5th and um, you can see pretty good comparison actually between the two they both agree this deep trough look across the western half of the British Isles into the eastern part of the Atlantic extends all the way from the northern parts of Scandinavia there really this is controlling the weather across the British Isles during that period so it looks as if we are going to become very unsettled jet stream straight across from the states look right across the Atlantic dipping down and then across the British Isles but a ridge building here look over the eastern parts of Europe it's this area where we've just seen those very very dry conditions now because we've got good agreement between these two we can have reasonable confidence that uh, it looks as if things are likely to be um, developing in that way um, just show you another comparison chart this is the comparison for uh, various different models for Monday at midnight GFS model here this is the Canadian model UK Met Office model here and the ECMWF here this is from weatheronline.co.uk by the way and you can see here how um, the fact that both of those models are actually well all of those models so all have that area of low pressure off towards the west of the British Isles builds this confidence that actually it looks as if that is what may well happen uh, as we get into the early part of next week so we've got reasonable confidence in this forecast so let's put some detail in then day to day here's the times look up towards here wednesday 26th at 3 gmt so that was this morning this is from the gfs model courtesy of weatheronline.co.uk let's just run it through and you see how low pressure is in control dumbbelling around as we get through and towards tomorrow rain drizzly bits across much of England and Wales through tomorrow from low pressure across the Bay of Biscay stays that way through much of Thursday really quite unsettled and then we get a ridge build through during the early part of Friday morning so Friday looks a much better day this southwesterly flow bringing in some very warm weather too out towards the west of Ireland and western Scotland we start to see some rain moving in and that southwesterly flow basically feeding moist air clouds and drizzle across western Scotland and western and southern Ireland but elsewhere generally looking as if it's going to be fair I think as we get through in towards Saturday so we find this area of rain look moving into western Scotland and Ireland crossing in from the west but eastern areas again is tending to stay dry but pretty breezy look how close together the isobars are Sunday sees the last of that front clearing southeast England but the west again cloudy outbreaks of rain coming in here and looks as if that turns more persistent into Monday some heavy bursts of rain through western parts of the country less so further east although there will still be some heavier bursts through the Midlands and eastern England through Monday evening low pressure then is up towards the north of the country look and uh, even on Tuesday despite a weak ridge of high pressure we've got yet another area of low pressure coming in and then we get into the period that we saw on the um, mean 500 millibars 
our flow charts here because this then becomes the period until Wednesday where we get low pressure look moving in towards the west of the country heavy periods of rain swinging through strong winds down towards the south and then through Thursday the low moves into the North Sea and we get this colder northwesterly flow coming down through all areas so this is what we've got to watch for the back end of next week into bonfire night looks as if things could be turning much cooler and probably showery too um, and it looks as if it stays that way as well through the following weekend and into the week after next with another area of low pressure then coming in as we get through into the week after next very windy conditions then on the way looks as if it is going to be staying quite unsettled and it's likely to become quite chilly too okay hope that's been useful i know there's been a lot of information there but i think what to take from it is that we are entering an unsettled period a period of what you might call typical autumnal weather thanks for watching keep the sun shining and remember that around the screen here we've got various adverts if you see an advert that you like do click on it it tells the advertisers that you like us and that's what generates the revenue to keep the site going so thanks for watching and uh, do pass on our details to your friends keep the sun shining